All right, came to the Wipeout Cafe. Got some nachos, quesadilla, taco, chicken quesadillas. <laughs> How was it? They were good. They're pretty yeah. good. Yeah, the quesadilla was really good. The nachos were okay, and the, my taco was pretty good. Mm -hmm. All the toppings, they have a little ice cream, soft serve in there. Charlie's having some nachos and a taco. She's pretty happy. So they have a lot of meat options, chicken, beef, steak, and all the toppings you could want. So it was pretty good. So it's pretty hidden. The Windjammer is right above us. And then the Wipeout Cafe is here. So it was not crowded at all. We just walked in, loaded up, and now we're eating. So I skipped up to the buffet and grabbed a burger, a salad, some mac and cheese, and some bread pudding. I also got some fruit, but I ended up having to give that to the kids. Probably better that they have that than I do. So I'm only gonna eat a little bit of this because we eat at five o'clock. I don't know why when we booked this, we picked the five o'clock dining, but that's what we did. So we're gonna eat at five o'clock and I'm gonna have a big, big meal there. Antipasti. Pretty good. It's got a nice selection of beets and cheeses, a little stuffed pepper, olives, a really hard crostini. Nice little light starter. So for me, I got two appetizers the garden salad and the Maryland style crab cake. I got the garden salad first. It's all right. It's probably all I'm going to eat of it. I got the Caribbean pork chop and it had plantain and like a Jamaican dumpling which is kind of like a cornbread stick, rice and beans. The jerk is really spicy, great flavor and then the spicy pork with the bite of plantain with the sweet is the perfect balance. Good choice. So I was about to get this surf and turf. It's $35 extra here for a lobster tail and a steak prime, uh, not prime rib. There's prime rib tonight, but uh, it would have been filet mignon. I wanted to try something new, something that I hadn't had before. So I tried the polenta and it's a baked polenta. It was all right. The tomato sauce on it was really good. The crisp vegetables were really good. But I just want some more protein. And again, I wanted to try something new, so. Um, if you're going for the vegetarian option, it's, it's pretty good, but that's what we're here for, try new things. I don't have any more left on my plate, but I will say the olives that come with this, as well as the olive that was on Franny's antipasta that she gave me, antipasti, antipasti. <laughs> that she gave me, plus the olives that were on here, were potent. I've never tasted olives with that much flavor before. I'm interested to see if that's the same all the way across the ship. Perfect. Key lime pie. Good crust. It's nice and tart and limey. A healthy layer of whipped cream on top. And the filling is perfect. Delicious creme brulee. Ooh. I can taste the blowtorch <laughs> in a good way. That caramelization. Custardy. I kind of wish it was a little warmer. So not that it's cold. No, I just wish it was a little warmer. I don't know. But it still tastes really delicious. I'm going to eat all of it. So, no Charlie footage tonight because she abandoned us. She's right there. <laughs> with those people tonight <laughs> but she had yeah. the spaghetti bolognese and appetizer they brought all these the children like a little martini glass filled up with hey. so that's what you got what'd you get what's this cleo ice cream uh, strawberry is that strawberry ice cream yeah. no uh, yeah. is that chocolate ice cream say it's my ice cream is it my ice cream? Can I have a bite? Oh, thank you. Let me try your soup. All right, how was your scramble? What was it called? It's the worst. The worst. So it's got peppers, onions, mushroom, but I did not take it off. Chili and cheese, potatoes, scrambled egg. How was it? It was the best hangover food ever. You have a hangover? Yes. Oh. 
Easy pay. Nothing food get here. You gotta finish it? Uh, I don't know if I'll finish it, but I do really like it. I might eat a lot of it. So I got the belt sandwich, bacon, egg, lettuce, and tomato. It's pretty good. It's very good. I'm gonna finish mine. It's a jelly? Okay. Brandy's feeding the birds. <laughs> so I got the fried calamari. It's probably a little underdone for my taste, but the spices are good, crunch is good, but the actual, you know, squid rings are just a little too rubbery for me. But I bet it varies just from night by night, the order that you get. But overall, it's tasty. I got the pumpkin soup. It's really creamy and a little bit of smoke and a little bit of heat. The pumpkin seed crunch is not desirable, but it's pretty good. So the steak was absolutely delicious. Tender, juicy, moist, perfectly cooked. <laughs> Great taste on the outside. Lobster tail was a little thin and a little overdone. I think I just got one that was really long, so it didn't cook the same as, as others. Uh, it is supposed to be main lobster tail, which I don't think I normally ever really get. So maybe there's a difference. But either way, I'm still happy with it from the steak itself. The lobster tail that I've gotten before from uh, Carnival Lab has been my favorite. Yeah, the beef tenderloin with asparagus, and it is melt in your mouth. It's like butter. It's... That was the sides. Very good. The beef tenderloin is definitely the star of the show. The Grand Marnay souffle was delicious. It was light, fluffy. It was not too sweet, but then every once in a while, the bite would just hit you with a nice big zap of sweetness, which was delicious. And it was really warm on the bottom, which means you know, it was fresh out of the oven. Definitely recommend getting that here. And uh, I would get it again on another night if it was available. Finish my dessert. It was creamy. It was okay. It was kind of bland. The shortcake, I already forgot what it was. It was so unmemorable. Wrap up tonight with some the Rento's pizza. I was going to say fiery pizza, but that's not the ship that we're on. Interesting. Uh, it's like you're drinking the ooze from Ninja Turtles. This is the uh, poblano corn soup and it is spicy. Ooh. Has definitely a kick. And then we got the cheese plate and that big jam with the brie is really tasty. Very good. Highly recommend. I'm not a fan of the seafood cake here. The flavor is okay, but the consistency of how it's cooked, the outside is kind of crunchy, but the inside is real mushy. I, I just want it to, I want it to be more like a crab cake. It feels more like a, a, a hash brown with seafood flavor. The short rib was tender, like butter kind of with my fork. The side veggies, just like parsnips, potatoes, onions. All tasty, soft was great, so I, I would definitely give this again. It was good. I'm gonna have to give the sole a thumbs down. I was really excited. This fish itself was cooked well. I just wanted better seasoning on it. Give me something a little bit more spicy, maybe a little sweet and spicy, something. It's just very bland, is the best way to put it. The jasmine rice is great. The butter sauce is great. The tomatoes and broccoli are all great. I, I just wanted the fish to stand out and eat it. So, thumbs down for the sole. Day. You're in a hurry to get out of here. But I'm going to make it a long time because this is the best dessert I've had so far. It's the apple blossom and it's delicious. Warm. It's tart. It is a tart. I'm going to get this for the rest of the dessert.
Immediate reaction video. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. It's kind of bland. Not spicy? I mean, not sweet? No. Hot, hot in the middle, but soft. It's kind of like lukewarm and bland. It seems like something I got out of my crock pot. I agree. You know, it's funny you said, it's like something you would make in your crock pot. To me, it tastes like you took a bunch of canned vegetables and put them in. They don't, you know, taste fresh. And it doesn't really zap you with the spicy or delight you with the sweet. I'll eat it, but sad that it wasn't better. I have the lamb chop. I ordered it medium rare. They asked me how I should order it, but it looks pretty done. And it kind of tastes like Salisbury steak. This looks like Salisbury steak. I I was expecting maybe a gamier flavor. I don't know, but it tastes like Salisbury steak. So maybe it's just overdone. Definitely not medium rare that I got. Not impressed. I don't think I'd get lamb chops again. First time ordering lamb chops. I don't know how to eat lamb. Tell me in the comments below. How do I incorporate this mint jelly into my, like, am I supposed to eat it together? Is it a palate cleanser? Do I eat it after the bite? I really need help. So I got the tagliatelle. If I'm pronouncing that wrong, let me know in the comments below as well. Uh, it didn't say on the menu uh, that it was going to have these green peppers. But man, they really do a lot to add a depth to the pasta. Pesto is really good. The uh, tomatoes in, in it are really good. It's got regular tomatoes. It's got sun-dried tomatoes. It does have mushrooms, which I am not a mushroom fan, but I'm trying to eat around those. Um, the pasta is cooked perfectly, and the pesto is not very heavy. It's not like dominating the dish. I just gave Brandy a bite, and the way her face reacted, I was like, ooh, it's dance in your mouth. That's what this pasta dish tastes like. Tagliatelle. Very glad I got it. I almost did it and went with the salmon. Glad I got this. I got the apple blossom a la mode because Lance was in heaven yesterday. And this is definitely the best dessert I've had on the ship. It is so good. I'm gonna eat a whole thing. And Lance got the same thing tonight because he loved it so much. I'm getting it tomorrow too. You're gonna love that shot. I don't like it. I'm gonna go to the airport one. <laughs> Thank you. Plain, nothing on it? They were out of mustard. I had the last mustard. And obviously mine was pretty good. Coleslaw, not very good. Potato salad, okay, but needs a little bit more vinegar. The classic roll is so soft and fluffy. No, go. I still like the everything. Everything fun? No, this You is just got to get it when it's fresh. Like, yeah. like fresh out of the oven. It's not really good coconut shrimp batter. It tastes more just like fried shrimp. Good sauce to dip it in, but it's not that really authentic coconut shrimp batter you get from a, like a true seafood place. So, not all that impressed. A little sad. I'm also sad tonight because they gave me blue cheese instead of three. But you still have your fig jam, right? Oh yeah, this fig jam is so delicious. I love this. How to find the rest of the cheese. I got the cheese tortellini. There's a little like sour or bitter taste on the back end. I don't know what that is. Something maybe in the uh, sauce. Or in the cheese itself. I don't know. I think you see what kind of cheese is versus size here. But uh, overall, pretty good. I think Brandy has made this better at home. Okay, I got the turkey dinner. White and dark meat turkey. Sweet potato, corn, cranberry sauce. It's very reminiscent of like a frozen turkey dinner that you would heat up. This is really, really gooey stuffing. Like, look at it. It's, it's real gooey. The sweet potatoes are good. Those taste fresh. The gravy on the turkey is the best tasting part. 
Everything else is subpar. It's like a cake brownie, which I don't like chocolate cake. I only like brownies. I don't even like chocolate. And the mousse is so gritty that that's the texture of the whole thing when you bite it together. It's like this sandpapery grit. I'm thoroughly disappointed in my brownie. But. I'm going to cup some scoops to get ice cream because I'm not going to eat that at all. You want to bite my tart? Blossom? I do want to eat the I should have got the tart. I got the blossom again, so you're not going to see it again, but it's so good. Perfect consistency all around. And it's going in my belly.